Hey, how you doing? I'm just gonna be going over the Top Fort spinning kit that I got. Let's go ahead and uh, open it up and see what's inside. All right, so this is a Top Fort, uh, like a spinning kit. Um, I've taken this out for the past couple days. Uh, it comes with this D-ring on the side here, and as you can see, it's already kind of loose, and it's not really, um, I'm not sure if that's, it's not, I don't think there's a spring in there or something to keep it closed, but it's just a, I thought that the D-ring would have held up a lot better uh, with just using it uh, just a couple of days, maybe like two or three days I've used it. And and I've been just kind of putting it on my uh, belt loop and carrying it around. Uh, and then I'd have my rod and reel uh, going out to the ponds. And I just took it out, uh, took this kid out saltwater fishing today. So let me open it up. It's a nice case. I have to say that. Uh, nicely well made material that's going to stand up over time, I think. It's just that D ring. Uh, they should have, I think, uh, uh, upgraded that D ring to a better D ring. That's not going to last very long. And you don't want that coming off your, whatever you're hooking that onto, to come off and then you'll lose your uh, your kit here so if you open it up uh, I've used a, a few of these already um, I used this guy today in, in some salt water fishing uh, trying to catch some uh, sea trout with it oh you see that you see that fish just went up for you see that but uh, there weren't any sea trout in the area just mostly like some uh, some jack curvals and uh, some mullets, so I didn't really, I didn't catch any sea trout today on it. Uh, I also tried this other guy um, right here, this gold little minnow. Uh, didn't have any luck on that either. So, um, like I said, I've taken it out to some local ponds, and I uh, just took it out saltwater fishing today. But I like the how it's got a variety of colors. And uh, especially well, like some of these have these feathers on the back here, which I know that's uh, some of the fish really go after that. Uh, and also it has that flash to get their attention. So like how there's a variety of colors, a variety of sizes in here. And it's got this middle pouch here. Uh, I'm not sure what it would be used for or what you'd put in there, but that's very good with keeping these hooks separated and not, you know, tangling up uh, on one another. Uh, and as far as like the uh, case on the inside, it's, this is like a hard foam material that the hooks go in and out of. I mean, I can take this guy out, but you got to be careful because uh, some of them are really stuck in there really hard. And so I had to get some pliers and pull them out uh, just to get some of these hooks out of here. So that is another thing that you should look out for. But uh, you have a nice variety all in one kit here. But yeah, this is a very uh, nice little kit to have if you're interested in something like this. Uh, like I said, the only issue that I had was um, this little D-ring. That's really the only issue that I had with it. Um, I did catch a little bass on this guy right here also just the other day I took it out to the pond uh, I didn't have any luck today out in, in uh, doing any saltwater fishing but I did catch a little bass um, on this guy so I'm gonna continue to use uh, these different variety of lures here uh, testing it out more and uh, just wanted to share with y'all uh, Top Fort's new uh, spinner kit that they have. All right, so that's it. Yeah, that's cool. 